Heidi Ho from Jeff Busby Campground along the Natchez Trace Parkway in Mississippi. I've been in uh, the state here for the back part of the week um, doing some customer visits and sales calls. You don't really care at all about that, but it's like mid 60s here, so it's real hard to rush ourselves back to Ohio. We decided to take our time along the Natchez Trace Trail a little bit, which starts with a stay here and a little bit of a hike to what you said is the highest point along the Natchez Trace Parkway yes. Trail. Mm -hmm. Here we go. The Natchez Trace Parkway is a scenic and historic road that stretches 444 miles from Natchez, Mississippi to Nashville, Tennessee. It has a rich history dating back thousands of years. Native American tribes such as the Natchez, Chickasaw, and Choctaw used the trail for trade and communication. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, European settlers and traders navigated the Natchez Trace and it became an important route connecting the Mississippi River with the Cumberland settlements. I misread the National Park Service's description of the trail as they actually state it takes you to one of the highest points along the Natchez Trace Parkway. At 605 feet, some may not consider that to be very high, however, it was quite a view from both sides of the parking lot. This campground is located at milepost 193.1, which is close to Midway on the parkway. There are 18 first-come, first-served sites with pull-through, back-in, and tent-only options, and all have a 14-day stay limit. The camp host site is the only one with an electric hookup, but it was open on our visit. Of note, due to the arrangement and lack of numbers on the sites, it didn't really feel like there were 18 of them. If the campground was busy, there would definitely be some really close neighbors. Well, that was a lovely little hike. We ended with right at two miles and a total of 220 feet of elevation gain to an altitude of a whopping 605 feet. So while it's called Little Mountain, remember that mountain is on Mississippi terms. Nice hike, well-maintained. Really anyone can do it, especially if you took your time. A uh, nice little loop at the top and a couple of ways to cut it off. If you didn't want to make the hike, there's also a drive. It takes you to the same place, uh, kind of runs right by the campground uh, if you were interested in that. That's that. We way overdressed for the mid-60s. We thought it would be a little cooler here uh, when we were packing, so we changed. Luckily, we had a, a t-shirt we could pop on, and uh, I think we're just going to chill now, fire up the solar stove, and enjoy a lovely evening here. Well, good morning. Uh, Alana and I had a lovely evening last night. Uh, it was mostly quiet. I will say, I don't know whether it was during our visit or whether there is something nearby, but there was like logging or quarry work. There was just some heavy equipment. We could hear the tracks rumble. Um, we could hear the backup beep in the distance. So it was far from keeping us from any kind of sleep or anything like that. In fact, the biggest intrusion we had last night are some stray cats or some cats that are local nearby. They just kept kind of coming up to us, ruffling the leaves and um, while they're not really a problem in any way, the thing is we also didn't know when they were a skunk or some other critter, so we were just constantly getting the flashlights out. Uh, not really a big deal. Other than that, uh, the bathrooms were much more pleasant than we had anticipated. It was nice having the trash cans and so many amenities nearby. Um, we have got some weather uh, that's supposed to be coming in, scattered thunderstorms and even rain. We're going to make the best of exploring that distance of the Natchez Trace Parkway, stopping for some hikes even with that rain. But we wanted to get our camp tour down on the road quick. So it's a little early, a little dark, um, but Alana's close. I got to help her get the top down. We're getting out of here. The parkway offers a unique blend of natural beauty, historical significance, and recreational opportunities with no shortage of things to see and do. Stops range from large wood signs with info about the site to having short walks or hikes to stretch your legs. 
One of these leg stretching stops is the Bynum Mounds, which is the oldest mound site along Natchez Trace Parkway at milepost 232.4. These mounds were created by American Indians in what was known as the Middle Woodland Period between 100 BCE to 100 CE. The mounds range in height from 5 feet to 14 feet. Originally, there were six mounds at the site. However, in the 1940s, five of them were excavated by National Park Service archaeologists. The two largest mounds were rebuilt and have a paved accessible 200-foot path that loops around them next to the forest and through an interpretive shelter. The Natchez Trace Parkway Visitor Center serves as a hub for information about the entire parkway. It is located at milepost 266, just north of Tupelo, Mississippi. Interactive exhibits and displays provide insights into the Native American heritage, early explorers, and the significance of the Natchez Trace in American history. Maps, brochures, and other educational materials are also available to help you plan your journey and make the most of your time on the parkway. We watched their 15-minute informational video about the parkway and didn't realize it passes through four ecosystems, eight major watersheds, and 12 physiographic regions. It was amazing to walk along old trace areas and realize that we were taking the same steps others had for thousands of years before us, from the prehistoric American Indians and Choctaw, Chickasaw, and Natchez, who called the area home to the boatmen who floated supplies down to ports in Natchez and New Orleans at the beginning of the 1800s. The modern parkway follows the general route of the old Natchez trace, Engineering standards and the necessity of preserving sections of the old Natchez Trace have made it impractical to follow it exactly. This allows you to drive portions of it and see for yourself the frontier road much as it appeared in the early 1800s. The nearly mile-long John Coffey Memorial Bridge crosses the Tennessee River in Alabama at milepost 328.6. Being built in 1964, the bridge has outlived its 50-year design life, while still being structurally sound as of late 2022, the National Park Service was obtaining local public input on whether to repair or replace the bridge. From the sunken trace and iconic bridges to hidden waterfalls and Indian mounds, every turn reveals a new wonder. We highly recommend taking the time to hike the trails, visit interpretive centers, and soak in the beauty of this remarkable journey. We only traveled about 250 miles of the trace and plan to return to finish it and any hikes that we skipped due to the weather and lack of time. Further, we lost track of how many state parks could be accessed from the trace as well, adding more to those future explorations. Well, we have been having a very fun day yes. in spite of the wet uh, and kind of gloomy weather. Yes. Luckily, it has just been wet with rain. We have yes. not had any thunderstorms, any of the real nasty stuff that not we thought yet. we would have. That's right. Not not yet. We haven't. Uh, it it yes. may get a little worse as evening goes on after we yes. uh, after we set up camp. It's a little unfortunate. There's a lot of hiking trails yes. right around this particular area. Uh, this particular area is the uh, Meriwether Lewis National Monument. It's yes. just down the road. This is the Meriwether Lewis 
campground. Mouthful. It is It is a bit of a mouthful. Uh, that is the Meriwether Lewis from Lewis and Clark. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are very aware of the history out yeah. west, but it was actually in this area where uh, his life was ended. Yes. And that's why the, the uh, monument's here. Yeah. This campground compared to the other one, very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, and it's a little, it makes more sense. So it's, uh, it's just as nice as the other one. Yeah. But it makes more sense with yeah. normal back end sites that are numbered as yeah. well as pull throughs. Both had heated bathrooms. Uh, bathrooms. Yep. That was great. I can't say enough. It's free. It's yes. first come, first serve, but they're completely free. So yep. what an awesome way if you're traveling from Nashville down to Natchez to take yep. this, either really take your time stopping along the way to smell the roses that we've yeah. done just on this section. Or if you're just trying to make that that run and don't want the interstates yeah. and hustle and bustle, it's, it's a really nice. Yeah. nice, easy way to travel. Yep. Hopefully you'll check it out and you'll check us out again soon. Yes. Uh, we don't know where, but soon. We, <laughs> I don't know where, <laughs> but see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>